Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is Isaiah 61. Why Isaiah 61? Because the people who are chosen and selected to be the harvest workers will become more Christ-like. And if they become closer to, to walk as Jesus did, they will also receive his mandate. <coughs> and his mandate was Isaiah 61. So let us go to the Bible and read what is written there. The year of the Lord's favor. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort, comfort all that are mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old wastes, and they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your windressers. But you shall be named the priest of the Lord, men that shall call you the ministers of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall you boost yourselves. For your shame you shall receive double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double, everlasting joy shall be unto them. For I, the Lord, have judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he had clothed me with a garment of salvation. He had covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decked himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorned herself with jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as a garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. And this was what is written in Isaiah 61 in the Bible. This is the mission of Triple Grace. This is the work of the harvest workers, going into the fields, looking for the meek, the nameless and faceless, and bringing them into the fold. Because the Lord says the last will be the first. And uh, this one that is, that is suffering right now will be blessed. So this is the time now for you to join us, to come part of the mission of Isaiah 61 and the mission of Mount Zion 2025. And we made a video about it yesterday. So please watch it. Join us, become part of it, and help us to spread the message to our YouTube channel. Please sow into the ministry to assist and support us so that we can bring forth a daily prophetic word and our videos in the Great Exodus series. A link will be put in the first pinned comment. Be blessed by the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise God Almighty, our Almighty Father. He will send us out as a great harvest workers and we will become the holy priesthood by receiving the Holy Spirit and then going into the nation to establish the dwelling places of Zion. Be part of this and walk with us that path to the holy mountain where we will be raptured into paradise. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.